also a logistics thrill with us to eventually have an exhibition opening and have people here to enjoy it with us. We are privileged to present to you this evening the Creator Blocks 2021, and as well as the Regional Ceramics Exhibition that's upstairs by Ceramics Southern Africa and Eastern Cape. Also, a teaser is on show for the Nando's Creative Exchange, and their exhibition will actually be coming to us next year on the 28th of January, 2022. The Creative Block Exhibition has been exhibited on an annual basis at our gallery since 2017. And with each year, it emphasizes the fact that South African artists might well be the most imaginative, lively, and vibrant of all. The best. Yes. <laughs> well said. The project is so exciting and shows amazing passion from all over South Africa that truly brings people together from all walks of life. A warm welcome to Myrna Vessels, who is the CEO of Speed Arts Trust. Her interests lie in contributing to social transformation through involvement in art and education. She is also a board member of Business and Arts South Africa and recently joined as a board member of ABA Gallery, the oldest non-profit gallery in Cape Town. Thank you, Myrna, for joining us this evening all the way from Cape Town. <laughs> It's always a huge, huge privilege to um, close out our exhibition um, program at the GFI Gallery. The past two years has really, really personally shown me that to work together is the way forward. So much of what happens in the world is is done much better because companies work together, because people work together. And, I'm always surprised when we have these conversations because many times over people think that it would never have happened if it wasn't for the pandemic. So there's certainly a, a silver lining um, to everything that has happened to all of us. The Creative Block is a way for us to present artists from around South Africa in the Eastern Cape, which is Unfortunately, a stepchild when it comes to art uh, from the government's perspective, I think. And Dorothea always works really, really hard to bring um, art from the Eastern Cape on the map. Dorothea was also a board member at Barca when I joined at the time and has relentlessly worked to make sure that the Eastern Cape gets onto the South African art map. It is really through her persistence that we um, started this collaboration. We have nine artists from PE whose work is here um, on the walls tonight. And artists come and go. The way that the Creative Block works is that it is for the artist's benefit. Of course, collectors can buy beautiful work for a fraction of the price of what they would normally pay for an artist's work. But um, it is primarily from a spare arts trust perspective, it is there for the artists. And we were very, very lucky that we were able to continue with this program throughout COVID. Even in the hard lockdown, we did creative block discussions and we still do now over Zoom rather than in person. It's taken a lot of adjustment um, for everybody, but it works. We can't wait for the day when we all together in a room where you can see the other artists work, when you can chat about what's happening in their practice and what difficulties they're experiencing, what exciting things they're doing. So we really miss those days and hope that they will come soon, but we have managed to continue and in no small part because of Nando's. Nando's in the UK has bought 2,000 blocks from us that has enabled us. And we still, uh, to, to continue with this program over this time, and we're still sourcing to fill that order. <laughs> That's also one of the reasons why you won't see any of the small blocks on the wall, because they have taken everything. <laughs> and we still need around 500 more. That comes to the second part of the partnership. Um, and I will introduce you to Kirsty Niehaus, who is here representing from Nando's. We're very happy and lucky that she agreed to come this year. Um, Nando's is a very strong patron partner to Spear Arts Trust and to artists in South Africa. 
And that has, has a significant art collection of um, contemporary South African art, all original works that are sourced through programs from Sphere Arts Trust. Without Nando's, we wouldn't be able to do the work that we do. It's as simple and plain as that. Um, we work really hard to enable artists to build professional careers um, and to present your work in a gallery, in an exhibition, is really part of that. We don't need artists to do that as Sphere Arts Trust. We can buy straight from the uh, studios. But it's very important for us to do it responsibly. And we really, really work hard to make artists understand that exhibitions are paramount in building a career as an artist. At Nando's, creativity fires up the heart and the soul. And it's an integral part of who we are as a brand. That's why we're super passionate about showcasing and nurturing South African creativity and showcasing it to the world. Most people associate Nando's through our quirky, irreverent ads that poke fun at important everyday matters for South Africans. However, in more recent years, we as a brand have deepened our commitment to supporting South African creativity through our sponsorship of artists, designers and musicians in a way that makes a positive and meaningful difference. In order to do this, we recognized that we know a lot about peri-peri and grilling chicken, but we didn't know so much about art. We partnered with Spear Arts Trust to establish the Nando's Art Initiative. In the two decades that we've worked together, we've grown the Nando's Art Collection to over 21,000 pieces, making us the largest collector of South African contemporary art in the world. We display this art on the walls of our restaurants in over 24 countries in 1,200 restaurants around the world, which is a real tribute to South African creativity. Spear Arts Trust runs several career development programs, um, which gives support to over 350 artists on a regular basis and has developed the, artists of, the careers of many artists. All these programs are designed to nurture talent and um, stay true to the, the purpose of Nando's, which is changing lives in a meaningful way. Two of these programs are on display here today, one of them being the Creative Block, and the other one being the Nando's Creative Exchange Program. The Nando's Creative Exchange Program was established in 2011 to celebrate and recognize artists with exceptional ability. The program offers mentorship and um, exhibition opportunities, as well as sponsorship of art materials and marketing through the Nando's um, sponsorship and, and platforms. All of this is aimed to, to develop the artist's pro professional career. Congratulations to all the artists represented here today. Um, and a spe special mention to our Nando's Creative Exchange artists, of which Lisa is here today. And I'll just mention the other ones. It's Adrian Owen, Eric uh, Rantis, and Bungesi, um, who have looked for their successful exhibition at the ABA Gallery, which has just recently closed. Um, especially during these, these challenging times, I think it was the first creative exchange program where you didn't all get to operate, you had to operate online with your mentor as opposed to having mentor associations all together. So well done. It's uh, particularly difficult to have, have done it and succeeded in that. Congratulations. Um, we love the fact that we've been able to make a positive impact and we were able to develop relationship, relationships with so many talented artists a number of whom who have been with us since the very beginning. It's good to know that a simple idea has made a real and lasting contribution to the creative community in South Africa, and that we've grown and developed artist careers, and result, which has resulted in a beautiful collection for us as well. It's all about shared value, where everyone wins. We believe that creativity is the core aspect of the Nando's brand, and supporting these programs really resonates with us, and has proven to be hugely successful for everyone. Our partnership has, with Spear has meant that we are able to rely on trustworthy experts to steer us in the right direction and ensure that whatever time, effort and money we have invested in these artists has yielded the, most, um, the best impact possible. And in the words of Henry Matisse, creativity takes courage. So thank you to all the artists represented here tonight for their courage and their creativity. Thank you very much. Um, good evening, everybody. It's nice to see so many artists here tonight. Um, Ceramics, they say Eastern Cape. If you think the Eastern Cape is the stepchild 
They're attempting to get to ceramics, they say. <laughs> we are truly the step child. Um, we're actually a very, very small group. We had 20 entrants. Um, and I must say, the standard of work was really high. Um, myself and Margie Higgs chose the uh, awards, uh, to who would receive the awards for, for the, the best work on show. So um, I'll start at the bottom. And because the standard was so high, we actually awarded five merit awards. So in, in no particular order, Buddy McNaughton, Hanley Schultz, Andrew Margaridge, Lois Strong, and somebody so in crime. Before I carry on with the next slot, I would just like to say that uh, we had Lois Strong's baskets on show here last year. Um, her work is quite exceptional and it's, it's quite amazing to see what she does with very, very fine strings of clay. Andrew Margaret is one of our newer members. Um, a beautiful pot you'll see as you go up the stairs with a, what one would call a highly activated surface. Hanley Schultz who's done beautiful smoke fire wear and then um, in the smoke firing process putting knitted pieces on which then burned black and burned beautiful designs into it. Those pots are so nice you can turn them around and every time you look at them you'll see something different in them, which is always what artists aspire to do. Billy McNaughton has uh, got the Merit Award for her work also on the stairs, a trilogy. They are very, very well thought out uh, works. And San Boniso, um, it's the panels upstairs, also very interesting panels made out of clay, not easy to achieve, uh, often cracking when you want to work in that sort of flat bar work. Um, then we have one student award, Jessica May Leach, um, who did a very interesting study uh, on women's breasts. You can read her artist statement up there. For our award of excellence this year goes to Lisa Walker. Hey, <laughs> is um, always perfect. That's one thing I can say about her. Perfect, perfect, perfect. <laughs> uh, beautifully glazed, beautifully executed, Lisa. You really deserve this. Your work is of an exceptionally high standard. That is really it. I'd love you to go upstairs, read the artist statements. You'll see what's there. Um, have a good look around and really enjoy our exhibition. Thank you. Thank you.